As U.S. Surgeon General David Satcher said today, and I quote, I'm worried that we're being attacked and we don't fully understand the attack. A lot of other Americans feel the same way. CBS's Bob Orr has been looking into how and why the anthrax attack is turning out to be more dangerous than previously thought. Investigators still don't know where it came from, but the anthrax that killed two Washington postal workers seems to have the hallmarks of a sophisticated weapon built by someone who knows how to deliver a lethal blow. Somebody knew exactly what they were doing. Richard Spurzel, who helped the United Nations track chemical and biological weapons in Iraq, says a microscopic amount of anthrax can so kill if it's carefully refined and becomes airborne. If the concentration of material in the air were sufficient, uh, certainly one breath would be, would be enough. Although there is little research on the effects of anthrax on people, microbiologists agree a dosage of 8 to 10,000 spores can be fatal if inhaled. But you have to understand, these are not apple size. So uh, uh, the quantity actually inhaled you would never know. So eight to 10,000 spores is a speck of dust in the air? Uh, probably less. Finely ground anthrax, when whipped into the air, is virtually invisible. Each spore can be no bigger than five microns, about a tenth as wide as a human hair, if it's to infect a person's lungs. Larger spores can be harmlessly trapped in nasal passages. Name, social security number. That appears to be what happened on Capitol Hill. More than two dozen staffers tested positive for exposure, but not infection, after the anthrax-laced letter was opened in Senator Daschle's office. Again, microbiologists say that anthrax appears to have been produced by a pro. The fact that 31 or 33 uh, humans had spores in their nose following the opening of an envelope suggests that the material was, was pretty well done. The potency of the anthrax has experts worried about what could happen next. They warn that any person or organization capable of turning out this anthrax may be able to produce a more lethal biological weapon. Bob or CBS News, Washington.